Namaste. Welcome to Agriculture Fears in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basnit. Dear viewers, let us start the program with the main affairs of the day. Monkey has caused panic in Okarbot Banauti municipality one of Kabre. School into tree plantation has completed tree plantation in its premises. The Bhunbhune Canal in Pokhara Metropolitan City, 32 of Bignas irrigation system has been damaged due to the incessant rains. Plus more. Let us continue the program with cardamom this year. Cardamom cultivation in Nepal started in 2039 BS. The cardamom originates in South Asia. It is grown in moist, shady areas. It requires high content of moisture with temperature between 10 to 22 degrees centigrade. Nepal has high potential for the cultivation of cardamom. Even in the lockdown, the production of cardamom remains high. Now Nepal has its own varieties of cardamom identified. Fickle Ilam is the best home for cardamom even though 42 districts of Nepal are fertile for the cultivation. Right now, 22 different districts produce cardamom. Lately, along with cardamom production, exports have also been increasing. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Lately, along with cardamom production, exports have also been increasing. According to the Trade Promotion and Export Center, cardamom exports have increased by 75%. According to the center, 88.57 million kg of cardamom worth 7.22 arba was exported in the last fiscal year. In the fiscal year 2076-77, 5 million 12,694 kg worth 4 arba 192 million 14,000 was exported. Cardamom produced in the country is being exported to neighboring India. Exports have also been increasing due to the increasing demand for domestic cardamom in the international market. After the news report, let us now talk about pheasant keeping. Pheasants originated in Asia. They spread to Europe in the 11th century. They are one of the most popular game birds in Europe. Pheasants, locally called Kalish, are being kept for business purpose now. The Nepali wild pheasants are not allowed to be grown for commercial purpose. The pheasants in Nepal are protected from hunting and rearing. The farmers in Nepal have to import the foreign breeds to do business. Pheasants are becoming popular in Nepali tables and the farmers are experimenting on their potential. Hari Bhattarai, a young entrepreneur running a Kalish farm for the first time in eastern Nepal by ordering eggs from France, finds it difficult to meet the demand for pheasant. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Hari Vatarai of Morong Kirabari has become a shining example that something can be done in one's own country rather than working in a foreign land. Along with studying agro-tourism, Vatarai has started pheasant rearing business. He started pheasant keeping for the first time in eastern Nepal. He has two biga of land in which he is keeping pheasant turkey, coil, local chicken and goat. A restaurant is running inside the farm. He has pheasant in his farm. He started his business by importing eggs from France. Now he's selling the pheasant at the price of 4,000 rupees per pheasant. Starting with an investment of over 4.5 million, the business has provided direct employment to five people, including himself and his brother. He says that he is satisfied with the pheasant. He says that chickens have to be brought to the market to be sold, but the demand of the pheasant has not been met. Do 
He says that even though the state has introduced agriculture program for agriculture workers, he has not received any grant so far. Even if they don't get the grant, they believe in their deeds more than the grant. But he's unhappy that the insurance policy has not been introduced in Pheasant. तभी को कालीज लाइट है उड़ा इंश्योरेंस बन सही ना अनुदान को तो पारे जाओ उस सौर कार्ले पे नहीं हैरी रहा सही ना कि ना नो हैरी को दो तीन वर्षा बैच आको तीन चार वर्षे बैच आको वन उन्ना कालीज आई आको नेपाल को जून्सु के कुना अमने मैन सेरो आइले तभी को पंक्सी खाने क्रम मासे तभी को कालीज the government has not allowed the hunting and rearing of local species of pheasant found in the forest, but the rearing of foreign breeds is allowed. Chinese ringnet breeding has been started. The pheasant needs cold area. The meat of the produced pheasant will taste good. This is the first business of its kind to be launched in the last two years. It seems necessary for others to learn from the exemplary work done by such youths in Nepal. After the news report, let us now talk about the encroachment of wild animals in the human settlement. This problem, which is becoming very frequent between the animals and the human beings, should be solved. There are elephant problems in East Nepal in Chapa. The next report is on monkey problems. As the population of the world is looking at 8 billion, the space for the animals is shrinking. The requirements for the human beings is seen as the priority on Earth. Scientists say that we need all the animals and plants existing now to actually survive ourselves. However, not all people are understanding the sensitive ecological balance of the Earth. People want everything for themselves now more than ever before. This has caused the forests to disappear and the animals are forced to come to the human settlement. Monkeys have caused panic in Okerboat, Panauti municipality, war number one of Gavre. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Monkey has also caused panic in Okerboat, Panauti municipality, one of Gavre. Monkey has destroyed most of the maize planted by the farmers there. Monkey has destroyed all the maize fields near the forest. Farmers are finding it difficult to save their crops due to wild animals. Residents of Ward No. 1, 2, 3, and 5 of Panauti municipality have to bear loss caused by wild animals. According to local farmers, monkey has eaten maize even in the afternoon. Monkey has not stopped destroying maize crops even after farmers in some places stayed up all night to protect their crops. In the last week of Ashar, monkey destroyed hundreds of ropnies of maize in Halide municipality 1, Nagarkot. The affected farmers have demanded to inform the district administration office and forest office of the municipality to control the monkey and also to protect the crop. Meanwhile, the municipality is also holding discussions with the concerned bodies to provide compensation and prevent encroachment of wild animal. Currently, wildlife has caused damage in Nobu Buddha municipality as well as Timal, Roshi, Bhumla and Chori Deurali villages. After the news report, let us now talk about subsidy for keeping buffaloes. Buffaloes are kept for meat, milk, and fertilizer in Nepal. The buffalo milk is more popular with many people in Nepal than cow milk as it is believed to be creamier and sweeter than cow milk. Also, the Nepali Mongolians eat the meat of the buffalo. This is why it is consider more beneficial to keep the buffaloes than the cows. The Nepali government seems to be encouraging the farmers to keep buffaloes. There has been distribution of subsidy for the purchase of buffaloes for the commercial purpose. Farmers of Barn Ganga municipality of Kapilbostu have received 30% subsidy for the purchase of buffaloes. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Farmers of Barn Ganga municipality of Kapilbostu have received 30% subsidy for the purchase of buffaloes. The municipality has given 30% subsidy to 50 farmers affiliated to Kailash Ashram Agriculture Cooperative for the purchase of buffaloes. According to the municipal animal husbandry branch, 70% of the the farmers and 30% of the cash share of the municipality has been provided through the agriculture cooperatives of Nandan Nagar and Rajpur in Ward number 
two of Barnganga municipality, farmers have been given subsidy for the purchase of buffaloes as per the Postal Highway Milk Production Program. The municipality has a plan to make Barnganga self-reliant in agriculture production. After the news report, let us now talk about tree transplantation. Trees are the most important component of the Earth's ecosystem. Trees are homes to the birds. They are food for the animals on Earth. These trees are raw materials for the homes for human beings. Trees hold the soil together and balance the water cycle. Trees play an important role in the temperature of the atmosphere. Trees have aesthetic value and are very good for the eye and ear health. The trees are the most important component of the earth indeed. The scientists are encouraging the governments of the world to plant trees for the future health and wealth of the country. Nepal is in the front line in the conservation of trees and transplantation of trees, yet we still have a long way to go. Sri Vishwamitra Ganesh Mavi, located in Mahalakshmi Municipality 8 of Lalitpur, has planted trees in the premises. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Sri Vishwamitra Ganesh Mavi, located in Mahalakshmi Municipality 8 of Lalitpur, has planted trees in the premises. A tree planting program has been carried out in the community forest of Vishwamitra Ganesh School under the Food Green City Program. City Chief Rameshwar Sreshtra presided over the function. The trees have been planted under the special hospitality of Sunil Babu Sreshtra. Plants including mango, orange, lemon, avocado, banana and pear have been planted. At the tree planting program, Mayor Rameshwar Sreshtra said that at least two trees should be planted in every house in the city and at least one of them should be a fruit tree. Chief Administrative Officer Purusottam Sabkota, Ward President of Ward No. 8 Vishoraj Sreshta, Secretary of NAST, Dr. Mahesh Adhikari, Senior Scientist Kanti Sreshta and other representatives of NAST, Vishwamitra Ganesh, University Chairman, Principal, Community Forest Chairman, staff including the head of agriculture branch of the municipality and local social workers and intellectuals were present. After the news report, it is time to take a small commercial break. Stay with Krishi Television. After the commercial break, welcome back to Agriculture Affairs in a part dear viewers. Let us now talk about the solution for monkey problem in Doti district. The monkey problem is solved through noise making device. There's another device which uses electric shock to chase monkeys and elephants away. These solutions could be cruel as we know that animals are coming to human settlement as there is no food in the jungle. We should also think about this and plant fruits and other crops for the animals in the jungle. A monkey repellent device has been distributed to the farmers of Doti's East Chogi Village Municipality. Let us look at this news report for a little while. A monkey repellent device has been distributed to the farmers of Doti's East Chogi Village Municipality. The village municipality has distributed 25 devices to the chairpersons of all the seven wards after the monkeys started destroying the crops planted by the farmers. According to the village municipality, the device was distributed on the condition that it would be donated only as required as it would cause loud noise and pollute the sound. It is said that at least 20 guns will be fired when the device is used and the monkeys will run away from the previous place and move to a new place. After the news report, let us now talk about chemical fertilizer for Nepal. The Nepali government is working on supplying chemical fertilizer to the farmers. Chemical fertilizer is still not produced in Nepal even though the chemical fertilizer factory is approved in Nepal. The developing countries are struggling to balance the need for high production and need for healthy food. As the population of the world increases, food security will become a problem in the future. Man is endowed with the mind to overcome all the hurdles for survival. We now live longer and wealthier and healthier than in the past. This has increased the population of the human beings. The natural check on population growth is overcome through compassion, love, kindness, and intellect. 
of the mind. Yet we have not been able to meet the demand of natural food. Nepal has requested five countries, including India, to provide 150,000 metric tons of chemical fertilizers. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Nepal has requested five countries, including India, to provide 150,000 metric tons of chemical fertilizers. It is requested to provide that amount of manure for immediate use. The Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development has requested India, China, Bangladesh, Oman and Jordan to create an environment for purchasing manure through diplomatic channels. The ministry has stated that the discussions are underway with those countries to prevent shortage of manure during the wheat season as it is not certain that manure will come from the global tender. At present, there is a shortage of manure for paddy, vegetables, wheat and maize. After the news report, let us now talk about distribution of digital farming system. The 21st century is all about digital advancement. Almost every modern work is conducted through virtual media. We meet on virtual media for different purposes. The world has become a small global village because of high technology. Now there is a digital farming system. Digital farming is a way of finding precise information about the land and using it for cultivation of the food with precision. Caritas Nepal Bardia branch has started digital farming system in Galeria Municipality and Rajpur Municipality. Let us look at this news report for a little while. Caritas Nepal Bardia branch, which has been conducting various programs for sustainable agriculture development for 18 years, has started digital farming system in Galeria Municipality and Rajpur Municipality of Bardia with the support of Caritas Australia and integrated agro-digital system as well as banana and pig rearing promotion program has been launched under the annual program public as well as Nepal livelihood purification and upliftment program. This year 940 farmers will benefit from this program. In the first phase 39 farmers of Agua Krishi Samuha in Kularia municipality, Rajpur municipality, ward number 6 and 39 farmers in Kularia municipality, ward number 1 will be given priority. Sita Choudhury, who has been rearing pigs from the program conducted by Caritas Nepal, said that she has become more comfortable in swines with the help of Caritas than before. Kirsak Samoha Bata Sahabhagi Huna Aiko Tu Maile Yu Karikaram Ma Yu Karikaram Antargat Bangur Palan Gariki Tu Bangur Palan Ma Adunikaran Adunikaran Kakaran हामी हामीलाई पहिला भन्दा अहिले समूहमा भएको सहज भएको छ म कार्यकर्ता नेपाल संस्थालाई आभार संस्थाप्रति आभार प्रकट गर्दछु किन्नु प्रसाद चौधरी चेयरम्यान अफ कृष्ण सारा सेभिङ्स एन्ड Loan Cooperative said that the Caritas Nepal has played a supportive role in advancing the economically weaker farmers and added that such programs would be better in the days to come. Ramro ra saphal hune cha, Ramro bivastit hune cha, jasto lagi ko cha, jo Caritas Nepal hamro sarkari lai ajay pani phalaune phalaune kam garne soch rakhe ko cha, ra. विगत में पनी जस्ते कार्यक्रम हरो आए दे देखी अजय पनी पचारी परिका किसान हरो छान वहाँ हरो को उठान होने थे। The Caritas Nepal Cooperative, which has been conducting programs related to agriculture and animal husbandry, has brought banana and swine rearing promotion program after requesting for help for the farmers of Bardia through various programs. यो यो कार्यक्रम किसी रब पशुपालन को उसमें कार्यक्रम में जाएं सहयोग गर्छ भनेर सुनिम उहाँहरु सँग हामी एउटा प्रपोजल हालिम सानो त्यो प्रपोजल हाल्दाखेरि उहाँहरुलाई चाहिँ हामीहरुलाई केरा खेती र बंगुर पालनको लागि सहयोग गर्ने गर्छौं भनेर भन्नुभयो र त्यही कार्यक्रमको लागि हामी आज यहाँ उपस्थित भएका छौं यो तालिम एउटा पहिलो बैठक 
Just At an inaugural function, District Coordinating Committee Chairman Shankar Prasad Tharu said that the banana and swine promotion program would strengthen the economic condition of the farmers and wished success to the program. <laughs> The program was conducted in Bardia district with the support of Caritas Australia. Caritas has started Nepal Livelihood Program this year. Last year's program has also been made public. Uh, Kertas Nepal has been running the program giving him priority to 70% of the farmers, low-income backward, socially deprived women as well as small farmers with less than 50 katas of land, families with less than 6 months of food, single women, persons with disabilities and other families. After the news report, let us now talk about damage of irrigation system due to rain. Due to climate change, there are severe drought and there are heavy rains with floods that damage the land. This brings a lot of loss every year to the country. The next report is about the damage to the irrigation system. This will cause a lot of loss since the paddy fuels will not get the water requirements. This is the time for paddy when it needs the water most. Water is the main food for the paddy. The government should be on a war footing to fix this problem. The Bhunbhune Canal in Pokhara Metropolitan City, 32 of Big Nas irrigation system has been damaged due to incessant rains. Let us look at this news report for a little while. The Bhunbhune Canal in Pokhara Metropolitan City, 32 of Big Nas irrigation system has been damaged due to incessant rains. Paddy cultivation in about 1,000 500 hectares has been affected due to the incessant rains. More than 10 million rupees has been lost due to the capture of 150 meters of canal dam in Bhunbune of B4 and B3 canal areas under Big Nas irrigation system due to the rains since Monday evening. More than 450 farmers have been affected by the canal damage. The farmers have demanded immediate construction of the canal even if it is temporary as it is necessary to supply water to the fields. After the news report, let us now talk about damage of the bridge. The concrete bridge has collapsed in the east-west highway. This has caused a lot of problems for the travelers. The government has to be quick about repairing and reconstruction. It will bring the market price up as the transportation has been affected. People will be the ones paying the price for loss. A concrete bridge over the Godaha River at Devdaha 7, Shitalnagar on the east-west highway has been washed away due to the incessant rains. Let us look at this news report for a little while. A concrete bridge over the Godaha River at Devdaha 7, Shitalnagar on the east-west highway has been washed away due to the incessant rains. Road traffic has come to a standstill after the concrete bridge collapsed. Police have stopped the movement of vehicles from the flooded bridge. Police have also urged those who need to go somewhere to use alternative routes. Similarly, most areas of Rupandehi have been inundated due to the floods. Devdaha, Tilottama, Vairavaha, Marshiwari and other places have been inundated. This is all in Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Minermala Basnet. Before I go, let us review the main affairs of the day. Monkey has caused panic in Okarbot Banauti municipality one of Kabre. 
school into tree plantation has completed tree plantation in its premises. The Bhunbhune Canal in Pokhara metropolitan city 32 of Vignas irrigation system has been damaged due to the incessant rains. Thank you for watching Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with Nirmala Basnet. I'll be back with more affairs next time. Till then, Jai Krishi, Jai Kishan, Samrit Krishi, Nepal Kishan.